Let's chat about everyone's favorite inventory topic, FIFO and LIFO. So FIFO and LIFO are different ways that we can deal with figuring out what inventory out of identical things sold and which ones are left in ending inventory. FIFO stands for first in, first out, and LIFO stands for last in, first out. And just a few examples because examples always help us wrap our head around things better. I'm just going to pull up this silly picture of a bucket of beads, okay? So let's say that, I don't know, I make toddler friendship bracelets in my shop and I buy this bucket of like 500 beads and I buy it several times per year. Sometimes I get it on sale. Sometimes I have to pay shipping. Sometimes I get to use my 25% off coupon, etc, etc. So if I'm entering this over on my spreadsheet, I've got lots of different purchases for it. And then I go make some toddler friendship bracelets. I don't know which of my beads sold. I'm just dumping them all in this big bucket in my office and I'm pulling things out at random and making my bracelets. So my first question is, I don't know which beads went into this bracelet that I just made. I don't know if it's from the bucket of beads I bought in January or the bucket of beads I bought in February or whatever. And I don't know when I sell that bracelet, which ones to mark as sold. So this can affect our cost of goods sold in our cost of ending inventory if the price of the identical stuff fluctuates throughout the year. You might be saying like, well, don't dump all your buckets of beads into one big bucket so that you can keep track of which purchase was which so that you can always know the cost. And yeah, that's fine. Specific identification is like a more accurate inventory method than using something like FIFO and LIFO, but it's not always realistic. A lot of times, especially like think of if you're buying felt over and over, it looks exactly the same. You wanna store it in a big pile. It's hard to know which one came from which purchase. So that's why the IRS, being the kindly, grandfatherly, and lovely people they are, decided to let us use FIFO and LIFO instead. So let me explain what that means and show it to you in action. Back on our inventory spreadsheet with my fabric example, I've got someone who is buying white cotton fabric several times a year. So first, let's just make life easier and show you only our purchases with filtering, filtering of white cotton this year. So she bought white cotton four times, four separate dates. She's got four different costs per unit because it costs her a different amount and she actually bought different quantity each time. So she's making her dress or whatever with her white cotton fabric. She uses, uh, let's say she uses 3,000 square inches. Which one does she mark as the one she used? Because she just put all her white cotton in a big pile. If she adopts FIFO, first in, first out, then that means that she's always going to consider her first in, her material that was first in, as the one that she used. So in that case, she's going to mark her March 31st purchase as the one that got used. It doesn't matter if that is not actually what happened in reality. She's adopting first in, first out. That's fine. So let's say she makes a second product and she uses 3,000 more square inches. She's got 1,000 left here, so she's going to increase that by 1,000, and then 2,000 more from this guy. So that would be first in, first out with her fabric. That's how she would continue using up the oldest materials and leaving the newer materials still in her ending inventory. That's how FIFO works. LIFO is exactly the opposite. She would think that the last materials bought were the first ones used, and the oldest materials are the ones remaining in ending inventory. That's how FIFO and LIFO would work with your materials. And the same thought process applies to your finished goods too. If you have identical goods here, you could adopt FIFO or LIFO to mark what is sold throughout time. 
The main caveat with using an inventory method like FIFO or LIFO is that you've got to pick one and you've got to be consistent. You can't use FIFO for some things and LIFO for other things and you can't switch from one method to another throughout the year. In fact, even if you want to switch from one year to the next to a different method, you can't do that either unless you want to file a special form with the IRS. In fact, you shouldn't even really change from one tax year to the other either. So you want to pick either FIFO or LIFO if you can't use specific identification and you want to use that method going forward. Personally, I think FIFO is easiest. It's easy for me to think of getting rid of the old stuff first, but as long as you choose one and stick with it and stay consistent, then that's fine. And that is FIFO and LIFO in a nutshell.